Sexual assault is a problem in the Minnesota National Guard, whether our members are traditional, full-time, activated, or in their civilian life. Since January of 2011, the Minnesota National Guard has responded to 48 reported acts of either sexual violence, harassment, or unwanted approach between service members or civilians, whether on or off duty. I'm counting on each of you to live up to the rigid integrity and values required to be a member of our team. Hold each other accountable and eliminate this dishonorable behavior from our formation. Over the last 12 years of war, the Minnesota National Guard has demonstrated exceptional competence, courage, and resiliency in adapting to the demands of war and accomplishing the mission. Today, however, the Minnesota National Guard still has opportunities to better combat sexual assault and sexual harassment. It's time we take on the fight against sexual assault and sexual harassment as a priority. It's up to every one of us in the Minnesota National Guard to solve this problem within our ranks. Sexual assault is a crime and a problem that violates everything we in the Minnesota Army and Air National Guard stand for. We must lead at all levels and do everything we can to protect our men and women from sexual assault, sexual harassment, and from those that would attack their dignity and honor. All of us, Minnesota National Guard soldiers, airmen, civilian, and leaders, must put a stop to sexual assault and be alert to this problem and ensure the safety and well-being of our soldiers and airmen. And we must start by not being bystanders. The two most common reasons for not reporting sexual offenses are that victims either didn't want anyone to find out about the incident or they didn't think anything would be done. We also know this is true about bystanders. Let's commit to ourselves that we will never be a bystander again, and we will break the silence when you see something that you know is wrong. Regardless of your rank, you must intervene, counsel, or report the incident immediately. Remember our values. We are a professional organization. In the Minnesota National Guard, there is no such thing as a consensual relationship between an experienced leader and a new soldier or airman. If, at an off-duty unit function, a unit member or civilian is hovering around an intoxicated teammate, there is something wrong. Don't be a bystander. Step in and intervene. Demand a culture free from sexual assault and sexual harassment. For those of you who have personally observed this high-risk behavior and have not interceded, thinking that there will be no action against the offender, listen closely. Since January of 2011, I have authorized five separations from military service, permanently withdrawn the federal recognition of three commission officers, approved multiple administrative reductions, and generated numerous permanent letters of reprimand, unit transfers, and non-judicial punishment. There is no need to fear reporting what you have observed. There are teeth to our commitment to remove the culture of sexist behavior, sexual harassment, and sexual assault from our ranks. Soldiers and airmen and leaders at every level, we are counting on you to break the cycle of silence and to put an end to sexual assault and sexual harassment in the Minnesota National Guard. Non-commissioned officers are the backbone of our military and your obligations are clearly defined in the NCO creed. I'm specifically counting on the NCO Corps to hold those in your charge accountable to put a stop to sexual assault and sexual harassment. Live up to the rigid integrity and values required to be a member of our team. Hold each other accountable. Quit being a bystander and remember our core values of dignity and respect. These values must be part of the leadership exercised every day from our most junior to most senior leaders across all of the Minnesota National Guard. I'm relying on each of you as a professional to be a standard bearer and to eliminate this dishonorable behavior from our formation. We are a team, and a team of professionals can accomplish any mission. Thank you for your service to our communities, state, and nation.